The road that the Colonials have taken to the Northeast Conference Championship game has definitely been the one less traveled, with the team losing their leading scorer, Karan Abraham, to injury on January 15th and going 2-3 and three in the five games following. But now the Colonials are riding an eight-game winning streak, including the two victories over Wagner and Quinnipiac to get here to Brooklyn today. The Colonials will have a tough test against the Blackbirds, and we'll get you ready here on the CSC pregame update. And welcome in here to the CSC pregame update. I'm Ed Albert. Thanks for joining us. We're here in Brooklyn, New York, the host university, Long Island, hosting your Robert Morris Colonials here this evening. That'll be at 7 o'clock on ESPN2. We'll hope you enjoy that. But we want to get you started here, and the reason the Colonials are here is because of a 64-62 to win at number two seed Quinnipiac in the semifinals of this Northeast Conference tournament. Robert Morris tied the Northeast Conference record for consecutive victories in the postseason tournament at eight. The Colonials also won eight straight games in the NEC tournament from 1982 to 1984, while Ryder won eight consecutive from 1993 to 1995. The team to snap RMU's consecutive win streak in the NEC tournament, Long Island, which defeated the Colonials 87 to 81 in the 1984 title game. Over the last eight NEC tournament contests, RMU has allowed just 58.1 points per game on 39.5%. That's 149 for 377 shooting from the field, including 28.9% or 37 for 128 from long range. And speaking of scoring, how about Velton Jones for the Colonials? Right now he leads the Northeast Conference postseason in scoring with 42 total points and another leader for the Northeast Conference Tournament is freshman Karan Williams who stepped in in the absence of Karan Abraham and done a fantastic job. Karan Williams the 6'2", 170 pound red shirt freshman from Midlothian, Virginia is averaging 6.9 points per game but in this Northeast Conference Tournament he is leading the league in field goal percentage with a 7.69% or 10 of 13 from the field and that is just some outstanding numbers and now we'd like to take a listen to what coach tool had to say during today's shoot around here's a look how was practice shoot around was pretty good uh, they're obviously pretty energetic let's be honest why wouldn't you be energetic um, I think they're pretty much prepared I think they know what they got to do now it's a matter of them going out and doing it all right we want to thank coach tool for that it's loud here at Long Island University we're going to wrap it up and get you ready for tonight's game. We want to leave you with this. The Colonials are 7-2 all time in the Northeast Conference title game. They are 2-0 on the road and 2-1 in title games versus LIU. I'd like to thank Marty Galosi and the entire RMU Athletic Department for all their help this week. Jim Duzak and Ken Baker in the Sports Information Department. Nazari Dorosh for helping out with camera and both the men's and women's teams for all of their help. Enjoy the game. Let's go Colonials and don't forget to check back for the post-game show coming up here sometime soon. Let's go Colonials! <laughs>